Hello, in this video we will talk about some common misconceptions about Shaitan and Satan. Now, at first, the topic of this video can be confusing, but I have to elaborate. Iblis Shaitan, the king of the jinn in Islamic lore and Satan from the Christian mythology are not the same being. They are separate spiritual intelligences with very different energy currents, lessons to teach, behaviors, characters, and powers. Their spiritual agenda overlaps in many aspects, but they fulfill it in really different ways. They inhabit and rule over different planes and different kinds of spirits. They have really different cultural backgrounds, and they are not and shouldn't be considered the same being in any way. In this video we will analyze both of those spirits and we will also say what are the differences and similarities between them. At the end of this video I will give you two magical chants for the conjuration of each spirit. Just like every chant on this channel, those chants should too be performed in a sacred space where you are sure that no imposters will appear to disturb your ritual. Now we will talk about Iblis first. Iblis is uh, the king of the jinn in Islamic lore. He is the jinn who according to Islamic mythology refused to prostrate before Adam and he was exiled from the celestial realms because of that. There are many aspects to Iblis' story here and his lore and he is a really complex figure so for the purpose of this video keep it like this by essence iblis is a jinn jinns are class of elemental spirits which means that they are really close to this plane and they correspond to the powers of nature they are really effective in bringing results and their current is mostly made of hot smokeless fire dense hot energy they are really really good in manifesting results and they are not transcendental in any way jinn are much closer to our human plane than cliffotic demons both jinn and cliffotic demons are sublunar spirits which means that they inhabit the realms within the earth, spiritual realms between the earth, they are spirits of the underworld, they are spirits of the tectonic planes. But out of those two groups analyzed in this video, Shayatin are much closer to our human plane. And they are much quicker to summon and interact with. Uh, the class of the jinn which serve Iblis are called the Shayatin. Uh, they are kind of separate from other jinn, they have their own spiritual current and they are uh, really really specific to the current and agenda of Iblis. Agenda of Iblis and Satan is really different in many aspects. Iblis seeks to empower individual in a really tangible and physical way. While Cell is Satan from the Cliffotic Three, Satan from the Christian lore prefers to empower individual in more primal alchemical ways. Uh, he doesn't care about physical body as much like Iblis. Iblis is really a physical creature. He is kind of rogue elemental in a way. Jinn are really close to elementals uh, and Jinn have much easier time interacting with nature than demons. Demons are how I can say that they are closer to this plane than many other spirits, demons under Satan, but they are not as close as Jinn. Uh, in a way they, they live in their own underworld plane, demons live in their own underworld plane, which is kind of far away from our existence, demons under Satan. Uh, you can call easily demons too, but it is much easier to interact with intelligences under Iblis. And what I can also say is that in my experience, 
demons curse who serve Satan directly, okay? I am not talking about demons under Belial or Azazel or Lilith. I am talking about demons who are specifically under Satan and who are product of his current. The demons under Satan, they do not have clear elemental correspondence. Jinn, majority of the jinn under Iblis, they have elemental correspondence. Majority of jinn under Iblis are corresponding to the elements of fire and earth. On the opposite side of the spectrum, demons who serve under Satan, not only they are not jinn, but you cannot pinpoint their elemental correspondence at all. They seem to be made of pure darkness, mixed with glyphotic energy uh, if you don't know what the glyphot is it is the plane of the underworld where glyphotic demons such as Lilith Moloch, Adramelech and other reside demons under Satan seem to be their own separate thing uh, and they are not in any way shape or form connected to the energy current of the Shayatin who serve Iblis now, what I also noticed is that work with the jinn, who serve Iblis, Shiatin, tends to ground the practitioner. It tends to ground the sorcerer to a physical plane. While work with Satan, especially uh, advanced alchemical workings, tend to distance one from the physical realm. Satan of the Christian mythology is much more transcendental than Shaitan of Muslim lore, than Iblis. Now, what I can say regarding Satan from the Christian lore is that I am 99.9% .9 sure that that spirit was never an angel. Satan was never an angel. Uh, whoever claims that Satan was an angel lies ridiculously or doesn't know what he's talking about. Current of Satan, his energy signature to me looks like a really, really dark red mixed with pure blackness. And that energy is so distant from normal angelic signature that I am 100% sure that that guy was never an angel. Satan of the Christian lore was never an angel. I can swear upon my head that that's true. Originally, in Judaism, you had Samael, uh, who was the adversary within Judaic lore, and then you have his angel of destruction, his angels of destruction. And then you had impure spirits which are product of Lilith and Samael. Uh, you had another impure spirits which wandered the earth. And uh, demons were originally considered either to be angels uh, of destruction ruled by Samael or to be, how can I say this, impure spirits wandering the earth. And in case of Satan, whatever he is and whatever he was, I can say that Satan wasn't an angel. I need to channel Satan himself to receive knowledge about what he was and who he really is. I never work the Satan in detail. But what I can also say about Satan is that I don't know for other practitioners but i personally don't don't get any of that father satan uh, narrative like i called satan maybe 10 to 15 times in my practice and to me he never came as a fatherly figure he always manifested either as a serpent with horns, dragon, or a goat, a black goat-like figure with big horns and muscular body. 
Those are three ways Satan manifested to me. And he always imparted deep gnosis and deep knowledge. But he always manifested as an adversary. He always manifested as a force I have to struggle against. And whenever I triumphed, he deeply helped me and deeply empowered me. Uh, he always, to me, seemed like a tavistic force. But he always also gave me tools to overcome his struggles. I remember once I called and conjured Satan in the woods, and since I cannot walk properly, I used my staff to reach that place. And when I returned after the ritual to my home, when I walked to my home after that ritual with Satan, one of my staffs I used to walk with, which was made of metal, broke and I had to go to my home without the staff. Now imagine what is the probability of metal staff made from aluminium breaking and it was also really difficult to me to walk using my hands and legs without the staff to my home because it was a really uh, far away it was a decent distance and it was an actual difficulty for me to go to my home and whenever I summoned Satan he always manifested either a difficult ritual I have to perform extremely demanding or some other type of difficulty happening in my life whenever I called Satan from the Christian lore. It manifested in a really adversarial and powerful and dark manner. But he also taught me quickly many lessons. Uh, Satan is a really quick teacher. He is a really quick guide and he is a brilliant mentor. But his knowledge and his ways of teaching are not for the faint of heart. Now, many people who claim that Iblis and Satan are the same probably never worked with both of them. My experience with Iblis is really different than my experience with Satan. In my experience, Iblis is much more humane and he is not so harsh as Satan is. Iblis tends to care more about his devotees but what is interesting to know when you work with Iblis is that any kind of deal you make with Iblis is a business deal. He will sometimes pretend that he cares about you and things. But in reality, Iblis is solely motivated by self-interest. Uh, that's what I discovered through my work with him. Whenever you try to make with Iblis a deal, contact your higher self uh, before you go into any deals, before, because Iblis is a really good negotiator and he will always get more from the deal than you, unless you contact your higher self and in that case higher self will give you the best terms of covenant with Iblis. Now, with Satan I found that's not to be the case. Satan is not really into deals. And contrary to the popular belief, Satan isn't really into pacts. What Satan wants from you is not your soul. Satan wants to kind of harden you through difficulties, uh, through the brutal extent. Now... I don't know, but I have a opinion that all of those people who work with Father Satan indeed work with the same Satan from the Christian lore I am working with. But here is a thing. I think they are still at the beginning stages of their work with Satan. 
she seems to really be in the beginning kind of protective figure and kind of fatherly but only in a beginner surface level interactions I personally think that whoever pursues deeper working and path working with Satan will kind of get to the same motherfucker I got to. Now, what Satan told me, now I am talking about Satan here, is uh, that I should call him to the physical materialization and ask him to withstand the diluted version of the Black Sun in order to transform myself. And Satan claims that alchemical union with the Black Sun is the union all black magicians should strive for. Contrary to that, Iblis, Shaitan, from the Muslim lore, is belonging to the different current of energy. If you really want to find demon from the Cliphotic lore and hierarchy, who is close to Iblis, you should call Azazel upon. Azazel and Iblis from Al Arabic lore work really closely together, and those two guys are two partially independent aspects of the same consciousness. King Paimon is also partially independent aspect of same consciousness as Iblis and Azazel. Now, while Satan seeks to empower you to undiluted and partially diluted aspects of Black Sun, the main gateway of Iblis Shaitan is really different. Uh, Iblis Shaitan will actually also teach you through the Black Sun, but he doesn't have expertise of Black Sun Satan has. If you really want to to work with Iblis Shaitan, you should really study the concept of the seal of Dajjal and the concept of the smokeless fire. What Iblis Shaitan will do is he will infuse you with the smokeless fire of the jinn, especially he will infuse you with the smokeless fire of the jinn, which corresponds to the Shayatin, the he, his jinn and his servants. When Iblis infuses you with that smokeless fire, it is completely different alchemy than the one Satan teaches. And this is form of alchemy you have to accept within yourself in order to work with Shriatin, the servants of Iblis. Now, let's discuss right now, slowly, what is the difference between energy signatures of Iblis and Satan. Satan from the Christian lore, as I had said previously in this video, has energy signature of really dark black energy mixed with dark red. Iblis, on another hand, has energy signature of burning red smokeless fire, which emanates black light, just in small amounts in the beginning. But if you work with the blue shaitan more, you will kind of see figure made of smokeless fire, which radiates black light. In my experience, energy of Satan from the Christian lore is much heavier than energy of Iblis, uh, but they are equal in power, Satan from the Christian lore and Iblis from the Muslim lore. Iblis is easier to summon, but if you want some kind of transcendental experience, Satan is the spirit to go. Iblis is, on another hand, uh, in a way much more dangerous to work with, because spirits who serve under Iblis are much more predatory toward humanity than spirits who serve under Satan. Shayatin are really spirits you shouldn't mess with, shaitanic jinn, 
uh, you should really know what you are doing before approaching those. At the end, here are for you magical chant to summon both of those spirits and uh, see for yourself what is the difference between the two. My clear stance is that those two intelligences are separate and claiming that they are one and the same is really false and impractical from the magical standpoint. Try the chance for yourself and uh, report me your experience in the comments. Chant for summoning Iblis, the king of the jinn, is this. Haya Iblis, Haya Satan, Haya Jinn. Haya Iblis, Haya Satan, Haya Jinn. Haya Iblis, Haya Satan, Haya Jinn. Magical chant for summoning Satan is Ha Satana Serpentis Infernum. Ha Satana Serpentis Infernum. Ha Satana Serpentis Infernum.